Welcome to Electro Online. So why are Cepheid variables so important? Why was it that when Henry, Henrietta Leavitt discovered the luminosity and periodicity relationship, the linear relationship between the period and luminosity of Cepheid variables, when she discovered that, why that was such a breakthrough is because the most challenging problem in astronomy is finding the distance. So let's take a look at the statement. Determining the distance to stars, nebula, and galaxies is the most challenging problem in astronomy. And it's been that way for thousands of years. When the Greeks tried to determine the distance to the moon, the distance to the sun, that was very challenging. And when they first made an estimate to find the distance to the sun, they were way off. And they weren't able to improve upon that for almost 2,000 years because, again, it's a very challenging problem. And it has been a challenging problem to figure out the distance to stars, to nebulas, to other galaxies. Matter of fact, we'll show you some interesting things that we have to go through in history in order to establish all the knowledge that we have now. So, Cepheid variables, how are they used? Well, let's say that we're here on the Earth. There's supposed to be a telescope, if you didn't figure that out yet. So let's say we're looking through a telescope at a faraway galaxy, maybe 10, 20, 30 light years away. And inside that galaxy, there probably will be some Cepheid variables. But we don't know the distance to the galaxy. That's the problem. How would we know the distance to the galaxy? But this is where Cepheid variables come in very handy. First of all, Cepheid variables are among the brightest, the largest and brightest stars in the universe. Because they're super large red giants that are fluctuating in size, but they're big red giants. Red giants are big to begin with, and the super massive red giants are absolutely large stars, really, really bright. So Cepheid variables are so bright that we can actually see individual Cepheid variables in other galaxies beyond our own galaxy. Then we're able to measure the apparent magnitude of the individual Cepheid variables. Apparent magnitude means how bright they appear to us as measured from the Earth. So we can actually zoom in to those Cepheid variables and measure the brightness of a particular singular Cepheid variable, even if it's another galaxy. Then we can determine the absolute magnitude of the, of the Cepheid variable, how bright it actually is, by using the linear period luminosity relationship that was discovered by Henrietta Leavitt. So once we have both the apparent magnitude and the absolute magnitude, we're then able to calculate the distance to that star. And of course, if the star is inside the galaxy, of course, then also the distance to the galaxy. So this is how we're able to calculate distances to faraway galaxies, to stars in our own Milky Way galaxy, simply by measuring the brightness of a Cepheid variable, how bright it appears, and then by calculating the absolute brightness and then comparing those two numbers together to calculate the distance. By the way, we're going to show you how to do that in a few videos in this series. So that is a tremendous accomplishment, tremendous ability that we did not have before. And that's why Cepheid variables are so important to astronomers. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear that funny noise, but that's her dog dreaming. I think she's chasing a squirrel or something. Anyway. She's chasing a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In astronomy. And that's true. The most difficult thing we've been able that we that have confounded. Let me try this again. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Hey.